Ooh, what's going on, family? So, big shades of that. We got all that to do. Ooh, people ask me all the time. Why you, uh, you be benching so heavy? Yeah. Why you doing all that, like, all that heavy weight? This gonna help you grow your chest. I'm already know. I'm already eat hit, brother. I really do it just to get a higher bench because my lifetime goal is 500. So I'll make it up there. The, the kind of training I do is kind of like a, a power build type of training. So the power coming from power lifting and then uh, and so the building comes from the body. So we kind of do both of them together. So we can do the best of both of us. Maybe the games, I probably get hit 500 if I just stick to strictly power lifting. Or I'll probably get the body or the, like, the body parts I want bigger if I stick to strictly body of course. But I like both of them. I just like to do both at the same time because it's fun. And it pushes me to the limits. So I'll tell you that. That's the reason I do that type of training a lot. Yeah, just squat. I don't really do deadlift no more. Yeah, it looks fun, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know. That crap is a lot out of you. I do a lot of it, so it's like, I don't just want to do it. And also, it's like hurt my back. Oh. Mardi Gras, and I ain't never been to Mardi Gras. I heard it's lit out there. And I heard more leaves, got the best food. So I've been wearing, you can wear elbow wraps for the last one. How long have I been? My time was here. Freaking, I went on like a boat trip. And then I was riding a jet ski. My dumb self, not knowing that when you drive on a jet ski and you turn it, you need to slow down. So I'm turning, like while I'm going like 80 to 100 miles. I'm yanking that mug. If I wasn't strong, I swear to God, I would've flew up. But yeah, I'm over here whipping that mug. And I think it threw my elbow out of line. So my elbow been hurt ever since. So I just wear knees for now. So I don't hurt it. You can really feel it. Like crazy, man. That's been helping a lot too. I caught these uh, personal records. Elbow wraps from uh, Larry Wills website. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, backstreet coconut. Bro. One of my boys asked me, he was like, well, why you go plate to plate? Why y'all go 135, 185, 225, 275, 305, 315, then to your working training set? I looked at him crazy because I'm like, I'm not doing all that. But I'm gonna be tired. That's too much. A plate is cool for me, 225 is cool for me, and 315 is cool. 275, there's no reason to do it because I feel like 225. Not too my own horn it looks like that, but it's like, there's no reason to do 275. Like, I'm not gonna go plate plate. That's just fine for me. And as soon as I hit 315, mm. Marty go. Marty woke. Oh yeah, we had the big boy with What am I doing all the time? But yeah, I'm 
not doing all that. Oh, I'm, that's damn near work. What? Oh, <sighs> but yeah, these elbow drops definitely. I suggest if you don't have them and you got bad elbows, definitely get some. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we got like 340 for two sets of five. And after that, we're gonna go over there get some dumbbell work. Got the dumbbells. Then we're gonna head over there to that free motion machine over there. And then, peck peck. Ooh, excuse me, peck peck. And then, get some back. Get like two sets of back. Man, that was head off a goose. Ugh. I started to do both. The weights must be my head, so I've been pretty good at it. I've been pretty good at coming up weight, so keeping my activity still high, doing better than what I did last year. Last year's no way. It's kind of, I ain't gonna say kind of fat, but that thing is extremely fast. I was putting on probably 10 pounds, probably 8 to 10 pounds a month. I was, I would say I was down to food, seafood, eat food, protein, women like that. I was doing 250, 250 less protein, nowhere near where I'm, where I'm at now. So many carbs, and so many fats. I'm thinking my fats was a low, uh, was high. Excuse me. Yeah. So I'm kind of glad that I dialed in this time. And then also when I cut, when I cut, it took me half a year to get off all that weight off. So I'm like, God. Oh, bro. So this time we're definitely gonna take a slow. No more than a half a pound to a pound a month. You know what I mean? Not going too crazy. I do have a, uh, a designated day where I eat whatever I want. I don't have to worry about it. But literally six days after week, I guarantee you I'm eating my food. I'm eating my turkey, beef, my, my rice. Um, what else? Uh, I've been eating a lot of cereal, dry cereal get those carbs in, and uh, what else I eat? Oh, my protein shake mixed with my strawberries. That's all I eat. Those five things every day, and that gives me to get me up to like 30, 400 calories. Now with the cereal, that, that crap probably be like 38, 38 to 4,000. Yeah, 38 to 4,000. I try to stay in the range of 34 and then 38. That range right there. But also, I track my my food kind of on like a weekly basis. So, yeah. So, the first one right now, I've been doing half a pound. So, uh, uh, tomorrow, October, I'm probably going to bump it up to like 38 to 4,000. I ain't going to come off just eating 4,000 calories. Heck no. Heck no. Last time I did that, but I could not. Like, the last book, I couldn't even eat. I was so full. Like, I would go a whole day without eating. I think I gave myself like one day last year where I didn't eat at all. Cause I was so full from all the food I was eating. Then I was not tracking the, um, the sauces, nothing like that. I'm like, 
you gotta try everything. If you really wanna be optimal in the gym, or you wanna know what you're eating, and you have your good body composition as you're gaining weight and building muscle, you gotta try everything and go your muscle. Man. I try to tell everybody everything. I don't care. Everything. Everything gotta get tracked. Especially sauces. Well, when I tracked that bark, I be, I be eating baby ray sauce. I started tracking that crap. Yeah, ever since I started tracking that crap, man, that crap 500 calories, bro. Yeah, I forgot to say that too. Yeah, that too, that's like six days. Two, I do 200 grams of baby ray sauce. So it'd be around like five something, five, over 550, I'll tell you that. Oh, it's just 200 grams. Crazy, I need to find a better barbecue sauce. If y'all got some good sauces, drop them in the coffee. <sighs> That crap was life. Definitely went for life. I was going to for an air map. Eight. Are you trying to explain to people, man? When it comes down to this gym crap, ain't nothing coming fast, man. I promise you, you gotta enjoy the little small things that you progressive, progressively overload on. You know what I mean? Because that might be five pounds a month on anything. Bench, you might do five pounds on two hours. I mean, a lot, too. Especially if you've been in the gym long enough. But if you're just starting out, most likely you'll probably take those mini games, get the formation of your body, then you'll probably hit, start hitting a lot of PRs too. But after a while, man, after you've been in here so long, the PRs, the goals, the games, all that stuff, all that crap goes on. Especially if you natural. Like, bro. Well, you have a certain point where you really gotta dial in. Like, your diet gotta be right, your sleep gotta be right, your stress level gotta be right, your training gotta be right. All those four things. And then when you are dialed in with those, some people go, your, your progress in the gym is slowed down drastically. Ooh, excuse me. A person that's been in the gym for one year will have significantly more gains than a person that's been in the gym five years. After that, it sounds weird, don't it? But yeah, because you have this thing called mini games when a person first is in the gym, their muscles are shot. When their muscles are shot, all the stress that is enduring, they instantly start getting bigger, stronger. And depending on your genetics, you may be bigger or stronger than the person that's been lifting for five years. You know what I mean? And you don't even have to train completely right. Your diet can be everywhere, so you can be everywhere, you still can get it. So, when that happens, that's the only time it happens. Unless you take a break from the gym and come back, you may catch, catch some extra gains. I've seen some people talking about that, but still, after a while, they better get used to it. If you don't dial in on those other things, the gains are not. You gotta make sure that, uh, that you're ready for the long wait. It will take time, take years. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna black out both of these for this one. So really, I do these these um incline dumbbell presses. I love them because of the stretch I get, and then also making sure I control the weight too. Makes me focus on that one. But I love this. And also it's helping my upper chest. So that my upper chest is lagging. I feel like my chest overall is lagging. And I want it bigger. That's why I do chest two times a week. 
Nah. How many sets? Seven sets. Six or seven sets. Mm -hmm. Little things bigger. Dang. It's so hard to find the right one. I'm a bit. Let's get it. Sure that uh progressively overloading properly and just keep a track of track of everything. Just the workouts really. They got a lot of good stuff in here. You can track your weight. Uh, if you're doing cardio, you can track that on here. I could use my phone, but I want to start somewhere here where it's tangible. So make sure I get the discipline for it first. And then once I finish this book, then I might transition over to my phone to like some app I can find where I can track my workouts and log it in. Smith machine to load more weight because it's the highest dumbbell they have in here, so it is what it is. Free motion chest pulls. That's what I call them. I honestly don't know what to call them. So I just call them that. Um, same right raises. Three sets of 12. Uh, last week we got 12 all the way through, so we're probably gonna go up one. Probably go up to 27. Make sure you keep that elbow close to your side and you just bring it across your body. Got one of these, go over to your nearest cable rack and do the same thing. You just want to support it. Uh, thing right here, but yeah, you can simply just come out here. Make sure you keep your chest upward and do the same motion. 
if you ain't got one of these. Ooh. I wish I noticed a lot of gyms don't, so I'm kind of blessed. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Oof. Another thing I try to explain to people, you know what I mean, is uh, rest times, you know what I mean? So this is how I use it. So your minimum rest time on any workout you do, unless it's something like when you're doing high reps, you probably can go probably 130. But if you're benching and you're going heavy, i say three to five minutes. Especially if you're benching like I bench, definitely five minutes. Me, I wait five minutes. That crap heavy, you know what I mean? So I need time to rest and recu recuperate for the next set. Now when it comes down to, when it comes down to um, accessory workouts like this, dumbbells, stuff like that. Let's do this, let's do this, let's say this. If it's heavy, three plus. If it's something manageable, but you're getting that squeeze, two. 130 to two minutes. You shouldn't be doing no 30 seconds to a minute. That is crazy. Are you even working out for real? If you're able to have that much energy left over to go into a second set off of 30 seconds or a minute, I'm not heavy enough. I am not going off. That means you're probably not even going to fail or even close to it. So that's crazy work. Um. Oh man, we're on the last one. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Mm. 
This right here really fatigues like this whole part right here. If you make sure you're squeezing it correctly. Just make sure you're squeezing at the bottom. Getting that good scratch. Squeeze. That's all we focusing on is just squeezing. Don't want to go too heavy. Don't want to go too light. Just right in the middle. That little middle ground right there. Oh. Oh. push these back so I get that more that deeper stretch see how I'm wagging my arm like get that deeper stretch um, you don't have to do this if you got shoulder problems but I, that's just me I personally do it Ooh. Oh, go get the first one. Oh, Jesus Ooh. Mm. Mm. No cap, that was too light. Right now we're on a neutral lap pulls. Yeah, if you feel like, if you ever feel like you're doing too much on your designated day for whatever body part you're working, just put it into another day. It don't matter. You don't have to do the traditional blow, gym, uh, gym bro split. You could make your own up. It's all about you. It's your personal preference, whatever you like. If you wanna do chest and abs, you can do that. If you wanna do legs and off the back, you can do that. It don't matter. As long as you give them a proper recovery, it don't really matter. <clears throat> 